Welcome to This Week in Anime History, where I talk about things that happened this week in anime history. Starting with the Great Kind of Earthquake, September 1st, uh, 1923. Uh, worth mentioning, a devastating earthquake that hit the Kanto region of Japan and leveled uh, large swaths of the cities. Um, pretty much every work of animation made up to that point burned in the Great Kanto earthquake and was destroyed. Um, some scraps have since been uh, recovered and some, some copies of things, but uh, absolutely devastating. If you've seen The Wind Rises, um, there's a scene in that movie which recreates the Great Kanto earthquake and how, how amazing and tragic it was. Um, it is also partly responsible for the adoption of Western fashion in Japan because so many um, women and children could not run to safety in time. Uh, in the more restrictive, in, a, in kimonos and such. And so there was a big drive to change to Western clothing as a result of the Great Kanto Earthquake. Um, moving on to slightly um, uh, more upbeat history. Uh, September 4th, 1963, saw the premiere of Hermit Village. This was the first late night anime ever. It aired um, slightly before midnight, um, starting September 1st. Um, and of December 4th, rather. And um, it was a rather risque manga at the time. Um, and quite, uh, it, it's basically about a group of um, uh, Sendin Buraku, uh, also what it's called. Um, it is about a, a small Edo period village um, populated by Taoist ascetics. Uh, the eldest researches magic and alchemy, while his disciple is more interested in the the more physical aspects of human existence. Um, and he rather gets around. It's a lot of, uh, of, of fun stuff around that. It is also technically the longest running comic with only one artist in Japanese history. Um, ran weekly <clears throat> from October 1956 to August 2014. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Which is darn impressive. Ko Kojima um, was the, uh, uh, the, the magaka behind that. And there was an anime adaptation of that, 15 minutes long. Um, and uh, um, very hard to find, obviously. Um, but uh, yeah, that, is a, um, that was technically the, uh, the earliest uh, thing. Um, I was just checking out something real quick. Um, uh, nope, eh, never mind. Uh, otherwise, also, um, in the month of September, we're not quite sure exactly when, 1972, Studio Sunrise was founded. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Makers of Gundam and many other mecha series and other shows as well. Very well respected anime studio and founded by some um, ex- Tezuka employees who wanted a more democratic studio to work for, uh, a somewhat less autocratic uh, um, leader uh, in there, which is for why. Some reason, uh, for some reason, I thought you were going to say ex Yazuka, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Not quite. Yeah, he wasn't that bad. Um, no, Tezuka. Not Tezuka. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Um, which is why pretty much every Sunrise anime um, has a credit created by Hajime Yatate. Uh, and you'll see that in the credits for most Sunrise anime, uh, which is a, an alias that basically means all of us. Um, mm. So they always reference in their anime that it is a collective effort of creation there at Sunrise. Yeah. Okay, very, very nice. That is what happened this week in anime history. See you next week.